Leon Nutrition doing another video as promised about um, increasing the protein in a green smoothie. Now um, I've got a little bit different um, smoothie here. I'm going to show you, we're going to um, use an apple like we did in the last one. And again, the ginger, I love ginger, but I'm not going to put it in this one. It's optional, but um, I do like having it um, about a teaspoon. But again, it's purely optional. Make it simple. Don't bother with it. Also, one of the things you can do with your bananas, once they start to turn um, brown or get, you know, that darker brown, how often do you throw them away? Well, you don't want to throw them away, but go ahead and um, freeze them. So you always have bananas available for your smoothies. So I'm going to put um, some banana in there for this smoothie. And also, now, milk, whether it's uh, soy milk or regular milk, roughly about 8 grams of protein per 8 ounces. This is 8 ounces. Almond milk. No protein in almond milk, maybe a gram per eight ounce. I know a lot of people say, oh, there's a, it's a good source of protein. It is not a good source of protein. So whenever you hear someone say that almond milk's got protein, it doesn't. Uh, anyway, so I'm not going to put the whole amount in here, maybe just about three quarters of it. Go ahead and blend it up. Now, protein, I um, like the protein powders, and specifically, I like um, whey protein isolate, and um, most of them have over 20, 20 grams per, per scoop, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, and again, because it's unflavored, it doesn't add um, uh, any kind of a flavor, even the vanilla flavored ones, I think, add... Um, a little bit of a taste that doesn't really enhance the flavor of a green smoothie. So, that in there. And with this, instead of the kale, I'm using the baby spinach. I love baby spinach as well. And again, great source of greens, uh, loaded with um, antioxidants as well as the, uh, the kale. But you can use any kind of greens. Um, collard greens, Swiss chard, kale, baby greens, uh, baby spinach. So, all excellent sources of nutrition. You can see the color of this one is a little bit lighter than the last one, only because um, it's got more, uh, more milk in it. So, we'll go ahead and, uh, whoops, got a leaf in there, a couple leaves in there. So, you can see the volume because it's got, I put so much more milk in there. But... Check it out. Excellent. Oh my gosh, it tastes like a milkshake. Mm. Again, you've got about three to four servings of fruits and vegetables, about, um, just over 30 grams of protein, and a great source of nutrition. So this would make a, a great breakfast. There you go. There's another um, higher protein smoothie. So thanks for watching. Neely on Nutrition, and we'll see you in the next video.